Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am so sorry, I wanted to apologize in advance because I know I've been MIA for like a month or so and that is because if you follow my channel, you know that I was getting married and I did on December 6th and I was so busy just preparing for the wedding. I was also moving. I also had a final in the midst of everything and then I was just busy on my honeymoon and just working full time so life just kind of got a hold of me and I was unable to get anything done via YouTube but I did want to do some looks and stuff I just did not have the time and today I was like listen Samantha you were gonna sit down and you were gonna record this video girl so though I'm not gonna be doing a look even though that would be really nice since it is New Year's Eve day I will be doing a best of beauty for 2015 because I did realize that last year it did get a lot of feedback and it seemed to be something that you guys enjoyed. So I'm just going to share with you some items I've really been enjoying this year, some things I have not put down and I, that they're still available in the store because nothing sucks more than someone being like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever, but it's not available in Sephora, Ulta, or anywhere else that sells makeup. So I am going to jump into this and get started. So the first thing I want to share with you guys are my favorite highlights for this year. So the first of which is Max Gold Deposit. Now if you are deeper in tone, my shade, tan, darker, you will absolutely love this highlight. It is so beautiful. It adds the beautifulest, <laughs> beautifulest, the nicest warmth look to your face with that glow. I absolutely love it. It incorporates a lot of bronzy gold shades in here and I think it's just very flattering to so many different skin tones and if you are lighter you can use this as a like glowy bronzer and it will look so beautiful. So this has been a really great item to have in my collection. This is actually my second one and I absolutely love it. So jump on this because it is thebomb.com. Now moving on to the next product. I have NARS Albatross. Now this is like a cult favorite. It looks like stark white in the camera and it, it is kind of whitish but it's got yellow undertones but on the skin, dear god, it looks so beautiful. I love it. I actually wore this I believe on my wedding. The makeup artist used this and it just looks so nice and this is flattering on every skin shade I think but more so on those who are medium to darker in tone because it just adds, especially if you have yellow, warmer, yellow undertones, this will complement them really well. So I have been really enjoying this and the reason I'm not swatching these is because they don't look good and I can't really get the point across of how beautiful they are if they swatch horribly. So moving on from that, the next one is by Bobbi Brown and it is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Bronze. This is such a beautiful shade. I absolutely love it. It looks so good. And the great thing about the Bobbi Brown Shimmering Skin Perfectors is that if you don't want to use all of them in combination, you could kind of use one or the other because they have one, two, three, four, five different little like colors that make one beautiful color. And they can also double as eyeshadows, which is really cool. So if you're someone who's on the go, this is like a multi-purpose item. And I think it's so beautiful. And this is flattering on every skin tone. Like literally across the board, every skin tone can rock this out and it will look fabulous. Now, the last highlight I have is from Becca, and this is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold. Now, I did buy this last year, and this was something that was seasonal, or like a special, I don't know, like one of those seasonal special release things, and it didn't come back, but now that I have been looking around on Ulta, this seems to be something that is in their permanent collection, and this is stunning. It's not too rosy, it's not too gold, it's just a perfect in-between, and it adds a glow with a touch of like rosiness to give your like cheeks that really nice flush. But it's not too overpowering where it looks like a shimmery bronze blush. It's just really beautiful, and I definitely suggest any shimmering shimmering skin perfector from Becca because they're all so beautiful and just really pigmented and you can use them as eyeshadows or anything and they're just so buttery, so smooth. I love Becca's products. Now moving on that from that, I'm going to go to cheeks. Now for cheeks, there are three items that I've been absolutely adoring. If you watch my channel, you know that I love blush and cheek products because they just make me so happy. They bring me to such a happy place 
even though all makeup kind of brings me to that happy place, like blush products and, and highlighting products are just like my thing. So the blush that I have been enjoying from Becca is the shade Wild Honey. And if you watch Jaclyn Hill's channel, you know that she ranted and raved about this and it was sold out for the longest and I didn't think too much of it because in the pan it just looks like very similar to my skin tone but when I wear it it gives you that really natural beautiful flush of color and I love it because it's so easy and neutral it pairs well with so many different looks especially if you want to wear like a bold lip this is like my go-to blush because it adds warmth it gives your face some definition without looking over the top which is what I love about it and it's so universal and it's so creamy so buttery so smooth I love 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 that the next one is from Buxom and this is like a dusty rose color and this is in the color Shrangi Lala and this is so beautiful so pigmented so a little goes a long way and I love Buxom's blushes I just got into them this year and I love them they haven't failed me and whenever I wear this one I get a lot of compliments it's got some shimmer in it but it's very finely milled so your face doesn't look like a glitter party on it but it's really nice and I love dusty rose colors like if you look at my blush collection it's like dusty rose dusty plum dusty rose dusty plum matte shimmery so these are the colors I tend to gravitate towards and I love this one in particular the last blush product is from NARS and this is the color sin I told you I love these dusty rose colors this one has like shimmer in it as you can see but it is stunning on the cheeks like the best blush ever created in life is right here right here ladies and gentlemen right here and I love this. I suggested this to my sister-in-law and she loves it. It is so beautiful. I love NARS blushes. They are the best blush on the market in my opinion. I love MAC too, but NARS is like, mm. I have so many of their blushes because they're so amazing and they never fail me. They always look so beautiful and this color in particular has just been doing so many good things for me this year and I can't get enough of it. Now moving on from that, I'm going to go towards setting powders. Now, my setting powder routine has not changed. I gravitate towards the same products, and the products I've been using is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powders. They are my favorite. Nothing compares to them, and I've tried Urban Decay. I've tried Tarte. I've tried every brand across the board, and none of them compare to MAC. Like, this is the bomb, bomb, bombest of all setting powders. It's the best. So... I have one in medium plus, which is what I use to set underneath my eyes, and one in medium dark to set the rest of my face. And I've gone through tons and tons and tons of these because they are just such amazing products. And the last one is the Ben Nye Banana Powder. This has been great, and I'm halfway through it. And I love this stuff because it does not look too chalky under your eyes. I just use it particularly underneath my eyes, but it looks great. It's fabulous and it makes you have that highlight but not too much and my favorite way to apply this is with a damp beauty blender or beauty sponge of any sort. This is good stuff and it's so cheap. So moving on from that, I'm going to go towards concealers. Now concealers are something that is like, I don't know, like it's so hard to find a really good concealer because naturally people tend to have these like really fine folds underneath their eyes and it tends to have the concealer sit in those fine lines and it's just hard to find a concealer that just doesn't like wrinkle in my creases or whatever so the one that i've been particularly enjoying is the mac pro Longwear. go figure i'm halfway finished with this guy it's been great a little goes a long way you literally need half a pump and this is twenty dollars so this little guy will last you for quite some time. So I've been really enjoying this. The next one is the Makeup Forever Waterproof Full Coverage in the color 10. And this is good stuff. Like, I love this. This is what I have underneath my eyes right now. This does not crease, which is a miracle from the gods. Like, especially if I set it right away, like, creaseless. Creaseless sand, which is what I like to go for. So... This Makeup Forever stuff is the bomb.com. I wish it was a little darker because I'm in between like a 10 and a 12, I think the next shade is. So this one is a little light, but you know, it works for me and I make it work. So it's been good stuff and I've been enjoying it. And the MAC Pro Longwear shade I am is NC42 in case you're wondering. The next concealer I've been enjoying is from LA Girl. This is the Pro Concealer. 
This stuff right here is the best. Like for two dollars and change, this stuff will rock your socks off to like the infinite degree because it is such good stuff. And it's so cheap, it reminds me a lot of the MAC Pro Longwear, but like a little better. I've really been enjoying this. My cousin got this for me and this stuff is awesome and it's got like a really cool little like brush applicator but this stuff has been great and I really didn't expect it to be such a great product because it's so cheap and usually when stuff is cheap you're like this is going to be crap but no this stuff is bomb so if you can find this get it I'm in the color medium beige and the last concealer is the NARS radiant creamy concealer now when I first got this I was like this stuff is Stupid. It's not worth money. It's just okay. I don't see what everybody raves about, but now I'm like eating my words because I love this. This is probably my favorite concealer of all concealers. I love the wand. I love everything about it. It just applies so naturally. It never, ever, ever looks cakey. Like I will admit, with all the other concealers I mentioned, it's easy to look cakey if you put too much. Like this stuff right here, you'll never look cakey. It's awesome. It's really pricey, but worth every penny I swear to you and I'm in the color caramel but this stuff is godsend and it's great because you can use it underneath your eyes it's so easy to contour with it you can use it to like sculpt your eyebrows if you wanted to just because the wand is so easy and a really good drugstore alternative to this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer I did want to include that in my best of beauty but I'm like I'm gonna concealer overload people so this one is my favorite out of all the concealers that I mentioned and I would just suggest you try it. And if you don't like it, then you know, return it. Sephora has a really great return policy. You have like 60 days and you could use it till like the end of the bottle and be like, I hate this and they'll take it back. So moving on from concealers because I did mention so many, I'm going to go to bronzers. Now when it comes to bronzers, I am so fussy, I am so picky and I have a hard time just because, you know, any woman of color will tell you like it is hard out there the struggle is so real for us mocha mamas because they just don't cater towards women of color as far as bronzing goes because I guess they think we're all naturally bronze so we don't need any more bronze in our life like no you're lying bronzer gives me life okay life so I need bronzing in my life and the three products I've been really really liking this year has to be the Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder. This is in the color 04 Deep. This stuff is so beautiful and look how giant it is. Like you will never hit pan on this. This has really fine milled flecks of shimmer in it but you will not look crazy or look overly glowy. It adds a really nice warmth to the face and it's so beautiful, great product. I love it. The next one is from Lorac and it is called Tantalizer. I really wish Lorac would put just the bronzer out. Like it is the best matte bronzer I have come across so far that, you know, is available. But I hate how they split it with this highlight because the highlight's nice, but I want more bronzer in my life. Like look how giant this is. Like how epic would it be if it was just all bronzer? Come on, Lorac. Come here, break. Please listen to me. Make a full one. That's all matte. All those ladies out there would be so happy. So yeah, this is the Lorac Tantalizer. This is just in one shade. And a newfound love. I know it's kind of like premature to be included in my Best of Beauty for 2014, but I've been obsessed with it and it's been so great and it's been so cheap. You know, it's the Jane um, Bronzing Powder in Give. And I've always been staring this down in Ulta and I was like, meh, I'm not going to get it. I don't know jack about Jane. So I didn't and I've been staring at it every time that I check out of Ulta and just been eyeing me be like, buy me. And I'm like, no, I don't want you in my life. And I finally like succumbed to it and it's been awesome. Like I'm so mad at myself for not picking this up sooner. This is awesome. You will definitely love this. Pick this up if you're someone who does not want to spend a lot of money. This is a really, really, really great bronzer and it's completely matte. Like, I do not use any other bronzer lately since I've had this. I've just been using this every single day because it does not fail me. I love the way it looks on my skin. It doesn't break me out. I love it. It's great, great, great product. And I just really am kicking myself for not have bought it sooner. So moving on from bronzers, I'm going to go towards eyeliners. 
So eyeliners for me are kind of, they're not like, they're not something I'm like particularly fussy about because I just love a, you know, classic black eyeliner. But I just like when that stays and sometimes I feel like they kind of come out of your waterline. So the ones that have worked best for me have been um, the Sephora brand. Those are like my favorite eyeliners and they're so affordable which is great. I have the color black which is black lace. This is my favorite black liner. It is my ride or die and it's $8 which is like comparable to drugstore and it is awesome. I don't have any problems with it. It doesn't budge on me and it doesn't like run or anything like that which I really have enjoyed. And I also love the color Cocoa, which is brown. And I love this one so much I bought it twice. Oops. And it's just been great. It's like a beautiful, deep, rich brown. And it's nice to have a brown. Sometimes you want to, you know, change out the black and switch it up with brown. And this has been it Woo, for me. Now, my other high-end favorite um, eyeliner is the one from Urban Decay. And not just the normal black one, I like the Perversion Liner. This one does not budge on me at all. The other black one kind of runs down a little, but this one I have no problems with. And it is great. It's super black, stays in my waterline. I just like the way it looks. I love a nice black eyeliner that can, you know, add to my eyes. I just love eyeliner. I think it really completes a look. And my favorite um, brown liner of all time is Costa Riche from MAC. This is the best. I love it. I've included it in my favorites before, and that's just because it's so beautiful. Sometimes I will put like a really deep brown eyeliner on my lower lash line and smudge it out and put Costa Riche in my waterline, and dear God, it just adds. Like it gives you such a beautiful look in your waterline, and it's just so nice. You could even smudge this under as well and it's just such a beautiful brown it's not your typical brown it's like a brown meets red so it looks really different and it's so beautiful I absolutely love it and I suggest everybody to go get this because they will be so happy like this stuff is epic like epic so moving on from that I'm going to talk about primers now I have three primers that I love I'm just gonna lump some my face and eye primers all in one so if you watch my channel, you know every tutorial I start off with this guy right here. It is the Kat, ba Kat Von D High Voltage Eye Primer in Skin. This stuff is godsend. You will absolutely love this. It primes your eyes beautifully. It's very stark, but when you apply it, it just makes your eyes such an even canvas and it makes colors really pop. And if you're someone who has pigmentation on your eyelids or you're deeper in tone, you will really appreciate it because you will actually get to appreciate the eyeshadow. It will really show as opposed to like an Urban Decay Primer Potion because those don't really do much for me. They prime my eyes and make my eyeshadow stay, but this just makes it pop and bring it to the next level. And I really feel like I get the full pigmentation out of the eyeshadow. The other one I like is Max Painterly. This is just a usual favorite. I've gone through like two or three of these. They've been great, but Kevin D is my favorite, I have to say. And as far as the skin goes, I love the NYX Shine Killer. I just love these silicone eye, like face primers, not eye primers. They are great. I love the way they smooth out my skin. I don't even feel like you have to necessarily wear concealer or foundation to wear this on the face. Like sometimes when I don't feel like wearing anything, I'll just throw this primer on just because I feel like it smooths out my skin a little bit and makes it look more even, you know? So this is a great product and also very affordable. Moving on from that, I'm going to go to foundations. Now foundations for me are like mm, a little, a little trying. Like you try some, you don't, you like them, you don't like them, you return them. And I've definitely been like, the queen of returning because if I don't like it, especially if I pay a lot of money for it, that baby's going back because no, ain't nobody got time for that. So the ones I've been really loving are the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3 in 1 and this is in the color 860. This is great stuff. Like if you are in need of a foundation from the drugstore, this is it. Especially if you have combination to oily skin, this is a really, really great product. It's not drying, but it's really nice. And I'm in the color Classic Tan, it says. 860 Classic Tan. 
and this is so beautiful on the skin i love it i have no complaints i could compare this to a high-end foundation just because the stay power on it and the consistency of it is really nice it doesn't have a bad odor anything like that this is just a really good all over the board across the board favorite for me the next one that i love is the estee lauder double wear stay in place makeup i'm in the color toasty toffee a zero and this is really nice as well I love this but I like to wear this when I want a lot of coverage this is like a very full coverage foundation and when you wear it it doesn't look cakey but you can definitely tell you're wearing foundation it will give you a really beautiful canvas but definitely use a light hand on this because it's thick you know so it's a beautiful product especially if you have combination oily skin taking any flash photography photos because it doesn't have SPF. It's a great, great item. And I feel like it applies best with a damp beauty blender or any kind of beauty sponge as well. And lastly, my tried and true is the MAC Studio Fluid. This stuff right here, I just cannot get away from it. No matter how many foundations I've tried, I just always tend to come to back to this. It's my favorite. I've gone through so many bottles of this stuff, and it is thick. It can be cakey if you overdo it, but I feel like I've kind of mastered it because I've been using it for so long. And I have two shades of this, NC44 and NC45, and they both work well for me, but I feel like NC44 is a little bit more on point than NC45 lately. But this stuff is great. I don't have any problems with it. I know some people say MAC breaks them out, but I haven't really had too many issues with it. So, I've been loving this guy for years and years and years. And moving on from that, I'm going to go towards lip glosses and show you what's popping on these lips. So, I have four. And the four I'm going to talk about are... One is from Buxom, and this is in the color White Russian. Now, this is your perfect nude shade. It is like a pinky nude, and it looks so beautiful on the lips. If you have tiny little lips, this will plump those babies up as well because it does have a lip plumper in them. I don't really need that because my lips are very luscious, but it's a great, great product to have in your collection, and it looks so beautiful on the lips. I love this, and it is just something I've been using nonstop. I think this is my second one because I love it so much as a day-to-day -day lip gloss. Mm -hmm. The next one is from Dior, and this is in the shade Mirage. Now this is a really beautiful, like, peachy nude shade as well. This kind of reminds me of one from Gerard Cosmetics, the Whitening Lightning lip glosses, but the consistency of these are mm, epic. These are my favorite lip glosses ever. They're super expensive and such a ripoff, but they're totally worth it to me because I just love them so much. They stay on your lips so nicely. They're very hydrating. I feel like they have a really good stay power for a lip gloss and they have a really nice pigmentation to them. So it's not just like, you know, the name Dior. It's actually a really outstanding product and I've been really getting my money's worth on this one. So much so that I wore this to my engagement party. So it was really beautiful and I love it. Another lip gloss I've been enjoying is one from Smashbox and this is in the color Poisy pink, which is kind of weird because it's more of like a nude shade, but this is really beautiful as well. Someone from Sephora actually suggested it to me, and she was on point because this stuff is beautiful on the lips, especially if you wear like a really muted um, pink lip gloss or lipstick underneath it and put this on top, you're in there like swimwear. And lastly is one from Buxom again, and this is a really tiny little one, and it is in the color Jennifer. Jennifer, and this one is really nice because it gives you a really beautiful, like, flush of color to the lips. I really have been a fan of purple lip glosses and lipsticks for this year for some reason, and this one is really beautiful and really pigmented as well. So moving on from that, I'm going to go towards lipsticks. Now, lipsticks are something that I have a lot of, and no matter how many I buy, I feel like I just tend to gravitate towards the same lipsticks for some reason, and I would like to use more of my other lipsticks, but for some reason I'm like, meh, I just want to go back to what I love. And, and lipsticks I've been enjoying this year 
from MAC have been the color Brave. Now this guy is Zibam. I wore this on my wedding and I just love Brave. It is a very muted color but it's very beautiful. It's very neutral and it complements a lot of looks very well because it's a shade that you can pair with almost anything and you don't have to worry about it looking cray cray on your lips and you will be happy with the results. And I feel like this will look good on any skin tone because it's just such a fabulous color and I have been enjoying it so so much this year and it's almost done and I will have to be getting a new one very soon. Moving on. The other one I've been enjoying is Diva. Now Diva is my favorite matte red lip from MAC. This is probably, there's two matte lips that I absolutely love and this is the darker of the two and I love it. This is not what I have on my lips right now, but it is so beautiful. I love Diva. It is just such a great color and it looks so good. I love nothing more than a matte lip, especially if it's red, like, whew, girl, I love it. My other favorite matte red lip is from Hourglass and this is what I'm wearing on my lips. This is the liquid lipstick in the color Icon. This stuff is epic. I love it. I don't know if I've included this in a favorites before. I'm sure I've mentioned it because I just love it so much. It just does so well for me. It's so little and thin. It's easy to throw in your purse and it just lasts really well. I never wear a lip liner with it or anything like that. It just has really great stay power. You can eat. It will come off a little bit on the inner parts of your lips, but just put a little dab of this baby on there and you're good to go. And lastly, I have the Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick in Jilted. Jilted is beautiful. This is like a pinky purple shade, and it looks so good on the lips. Like, it's so beautiful. I love it so much. And this is something that I've worn, like, so many times. And I, I love this color. And I think the Urban Decay lipsticks are really good. They're a little pricey, but they're really nice. I like the formula. They're very, like moisturizing but they're not too like glossy or anything like that they have a little bit of a gloss to it but not too much where you look like you just ate like a piece of fried chicken or something so I really like that about this now moving on from that I'm gonna go towards eyeshadows now eyeshadows I have a billion and one eyeshadows but I wanted to pick my favorite three and the first of which is from MAC and it is the shade nylon Nylon is this shade right here, and it is so beautiful. I love it from the lid. I love, love, love it even more for the inner tear ducts and for highlighting the brow bone. It is your go-to. Like, it has such a beautiful color. It looks a little yellowish in person, but when you pop it on those tear ducts, like, girl, girl, you will be so happy. Every time I wear it, everybody's like, oh my god, what's on your, you know, your eyes? And I'm like, nylon for MAC. And people look at it, and they probably wouldn't expect it, but... It's the business, I'm telling you. Another one that I've been enjoying is right next to it, and it is the color Vex, which is this color right here. And Vex is like a mother of pearl type shade, and I've actually hit pan on it because I love it so much. And it is like a gray, silvery shade mixed with like pink and purple, and it is so beautiful on, and when you mix it with black and make it smoky, oh, it looks so good. I love that. It's so pretty and it's so complimenting to so many different skin tones. Another one I have been enjoying is from, from MAC is Sketch. And this is like a deep wine shade and I love it so much. I never thought that I could love an eyeshadow so much as I love Sketch. Like every opportunity to wear it, I will. Because it's so flattering. It's like it's matte, but it's got really finely milled flecks of shimmer, but it's not shimmery like I like to wear on the outer corners, and typically I don't like to wear like shimmery shades on the outer corners, but it's just such a gorgeous color. It's like a deep wine. I love it for the lower lash line. It's just such a great color, and it pairs well with like gold. It pairs well with silver. It's just, it's, it's a great shade, and if you have a MAC near you, I would just definitely go get it because it's so perfect, okay? Okay. So moving on from that... And the reason why I did all three MAC shadows is because MAC shadows are my favorite. Moving on from that, I'm going to go towards palettes. And I only have two favorite palettes this year. And they are the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I did get this New Year's Eve of last year. 
and it's been so beautiful like I think this palette is a really great palette to have in your collection it has been my favorite this year if you watch my channel you know I absolutely absolutely love the Lorac Mega Pro palette it is my fave and the Mega Pro 2 is the bomb too but I really have been using this one the most especially if you're someone who's like a neutral kind of girl this will be your go-to and it smells amazing and I feel like it's really nice because even though it has your neutral shades it also has some pops of color like this pink and it has like various shades of purple like this color right here kind of reminds me of sketch but not so much because sketch is better and um, I've just been really enjoying this this is something that I typically tend to take on the road with me if it's not my Lorac, it's this guy right here and I feel like you know so many people will love this and my makeup artist for my wedding she used this religiously like when she did my makeup for my wedding engagement she used this palette when she did for my actual wedding she used this palette so I was talking to her about it and I'm like girl this palette is the business and she's like yes I love it I love 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 it so much and I recently got the semi sweet palette girl I know I've said that like 10 times in this video but girl it is good so yeah moving on from that the second one I have been enjoying is the meat matte nude from the bomb now this is really good as well it's completely matte shades and I love this palette because I've created so many looks solely with this palette I love a palette that you can just use that palette and not have to dip into other shades and this is it like this is my favorite matte palette ever because it's completely matte and I don't feel like I miss shimmers at all with this and I feel like it's perfect they have the perfect colors in this and they're really great this is like the best blending shade this is a really beautiful brown this brown is beautiful like every color is beautiful in here and you can use it non-stop like it's the best I've really been enjoying it and this mirror on it is whew, it's huge and I love it so yeah meat matte nude this is really an expensive palette as well if you look on Amazon and uh, yeah I think that's it thank you guys so much for watching and please be very safe tonight it is New Year's Eve and I wish you guys the best of luck for 2015 I hope you guys have a wonderful time over the holidays and thank you guys so much for watching see you soon bye guys